get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Let's get cooking. Mm, with Hi, Amy. good morning, everybody. Are you stuck in a recipe rut? Happens to me all the time. Well, you know what? Why not change things up? Get a little crazy. I've got something a little different, and it's actually light and wonderful. If you like Greek food and you like shrimp, you're going to absolutely love this recipe. You can also do it with chicken, too, by the way. So I started out with a little bit of olive oil in a skillet. And I've got about a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp. Not the super big guys, but these are nice medium to large size shrimp. I'm just going to season those up with a little bit of salt and pepper. And because when I think of Greek food, it's always got to have a little bit of oregano in there. We're just going to do a little bit of oregano on top, and this looks great. I'm going to let that hang out in the skillet for just a little bit. And again, if you don't want to do this with um, shrimp, you could do this exact same thing with chicken. Take some boneless, skinless chicken breast, dice it up small, saute it with some olive oil, season it with salt and pepper, and a little bit of oregano. Okay, that's doing its thing. Now I'm going to make the dressing. Making a homemade dressing is so easy. Have a few different oils in your pantry. You know, canola, vegetable oil, olive oil, a few different vinegars, maybe a white wine vinegar, balsamic. In this case, we're going to start with a red wine vinegar, also very Greek. And I've got about a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. And I always start when I'm making my homemade dressings, vinegar in first. I'm going to do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and again, some more of that oregano. So I'm going to mix that all together. And now I've got about two-thirds of a cup of olive oil. Slowly drizzle that in so it'll, the big word, emulsify, which means thicken up that dressing. Doesn't that look great? You could also shake it up in a jar. One of those ball canning jars works great, too. So then if you have any extra dressing, just store it in the fridge. And this is going to store in the fridge for a good week or more. Perfect. Okay. Let's start putting the salad together. Our shrimp is looking lovely and yummy. And whenever I serve a salad for dinner, you know, it's, in my house, it's got to be a salad. It's got to be something going on. Just, a, you know, some lettuce with some ranch on top isn't going to do it if you're going to make a meal out of a salad. But I can totally get away with serving a nice, wonderful salad for dinner if I've got, you know, things like shrimp or chicken. If it, I beef it up. In fact, Bob, every once in a while when I do that, says, wow, this is a nice change of pace, something different and light. So that's why I think you're really going to love this, this salad. All right. We've got about um, two to three hearts of romaine lettuce here, chopped up, nice and crunchy. I'm going to add some cucumber. I like the English cucumber. You don't even need to peel that. Some diced tomato, seeded and diced. Feta cheese. Got to have that wonderful Greek cheese. And have you tried the flavored fetas? This one happens to be tomato and basil and out of this world. Mm. Now my shrimp goes... You can either put it in, I'm going to put it on top. Got to have my pitted Greek olives, those Kalmala olives, you know, right at the grocery store. Little drizzle of the, the dressing. I always start with a little. I can always add more. Again, that extra dressing keeps in the fridge. And then one little added thing that I love, if you can't find them or you don't want to put them in, no big deal. They just have a wonderful lemony, kind of pickly flavor. A little bit of capers. Find those in the jar, and they're just going to be kind of that extra little something in here. All right, so this can be served on a, a great big platter and just brought to the table, service with some warm pita bread or French bread, or you can do individual plates, up to you. This would be great also, um, not only for dinner, but for a ladies luncheon, having the ladies over. And then we're going to throw some of those shrimp on top. Oh, a little lemon juice, almost forgot that, over that shrimp right before we serve it. Lemon and oregano, classic Greek flavors. Oh, everybody gives a little shrimp. And then you can certainly throw a little bit more feta cheese on top. And there you go. It's my Greek shrimp salad. Mine be a fork. Something different for dinner tonight. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any festival foods.